What's going on everybody? Today I want to take a few minutes and just do a one year review on this Harbor Freight bedliner here behind me. I did a video on it just about a year ago and I've had a few people asking how's it holding up and would I recommend it and blah blah blah. So here's my two cents on it. So like I said I did this probably a little over a year ago. This thing I mean this is a classic truck but i daily drive this truck so it gets used a lot of stuff gets thrown in the bed there's never not stuff in the bed actually there's all the crap that was in the bed i had to take out so i can make this video anywho this thing gets a lot of use <clears throat> now i'm not hauling like rock and stuff that's beating the hell out of it but there's always something back here and this stuff's holding up okay I mean, if you notice, there's like some pieces missing, little chips and chunks and stuff. And uh, I mean, some of that's probably just wear and tear, but I don't know. I feel like this stuff didn't really stay rubbery. So these, these bed rails, they were done in Raptor liner. Actually, the whole truck is done in a similar product, but anyway. These are Raptor liner, and these rails don't have any chips anywhere. They've held up very well, and they were done before I even got the truck. So they were done years before, and they still look great. But I don't know, maybe it was my prep work. I didn't probably do the best prep work on this, but um, I don't know. Like, you can kind of get under it and kind of pick it up. Which, like I said, that may just be prep work, but it doesn't feel very rubbery still. Like this stuff, you can kind of pick your fingernails in it and it still feels a little bit rubbery. This stuff's hard. This still looks pretty good on the, uh, the bed sides where it didn't get beat up. So, I mean, on something that's purely cosmetic, this stuff's probably fine. Like if you're just putting it somewhere, it's not going to really get touched like i don't know undercoating or fender wells or maybe even like your floorboards or something on a jeep or something it's decent still in some places but the uh the floors took a little bit of a beating something else to note like the texture on this thing spraying through a hopper it's a little bit bigger than i like and that's just my personal preference See, I did the, the whole truck in a bed liner. Notice the texture on this. It's a lot more uniform and just all around better looking, I think. So, I mean, this does work and it looked decent for a while. I don't know, it just didn't hold up like the uh, Raptor liner or similar style bed liner kits do. It is really cheap and it still looks pretty decent, but I don't know that I would uh, necessarily recommend it because I mean for it's like 60 bucks for that stuff right and you can get a Raptor liner kit for I want to say 150 bucks so I mean for the extra hundred dollars or not even a hundred dollars ninety dollars you're getting a way better product and I think the simplicity of like the ease of use on the Raptor liner style stuff where you just mix the stuff together, you put it in a little spray thing and you spray it on. Super easy to use and I don't know, for the little bit extra money, I think it's a better product. So I don't think I would necessarily recommend the Harbor Freight bed liner. It would probably be okay if you're wanting to do like your floorboards or something on a, on a Jeep or something that you don't really it's not really going to see a lot of wear and tear, but I don't know. As far as putting it in a bed, it works, but I wouldn't say it's that great. Spend a little bit extra money and get a better product. I really wanted this stuff to work. I really wanted it to be great and hold up just as good as everything and be like the cheapest thing ever. But like everything else, you pretty much, you get what you pay for and, um, uh, this is no exception. So buy a cheap product, you get kind of not as great results. 
Still decent, still works, but it is what it is. I think for the little bit extra money, just just get the better stuff. Raptor liner or any any two part style bed liner where you have to mix an activator in it because the activator I don't know it hardens it I guess and but they stay rubbery so I don't I don't know how that works but that's just my two cents so take it for what it's worth thanks for watching good day